Okay, everybody, let's learn how to make this chocolate tort cake. Um, it's a flourless cake, so it's really easy, really simple to do. Um, in the mixer, I beat six eggs until they turned like a pale yellow, and they're thick because this is what's gonna give your cake the volume that it needs because it has no, you know, leavening or anything other than the eggs. And right here in this bowl is some melted chocolate uh, with a stick and a half of butter. Um, I'm about to die here because this chocolate smells so good. So, so, so good. So, anywho, what I'm about to do is switch to a spatula because I have the spoon because I need to fold in half of the chocolate mixture into the egg mixture and um you know kind of temper them a little bit it's cooled slightly um it's been sitting here for a minute we put this in the sink okay so yeah i'm just making sure all the butter has melted all the chocolate has melted and this is bittersweet chocolate 12 ounces of bittersweet chocolate. Oh God, it smells delicious. Oh my goodness. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> I'm in chocolate heaven. Okay. All right, I'm gonna save this for myself here later on. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna take some of this chocolate, like I said, half of it, and fold it into the eggs. I'm gonna do it as I pour slowly. I could have used my mixer on low, but I kinda of like doing it this way. So, here, let me slide you in a little bit better. <laughs> I saw this recipe this weekend on the Barefoot Contessa, and I had to try this recipe, y'all. I have a similar recipe, uh, but it actually had, I think it was a fourth of a cup of flour in it, and it was a little more detailed in hers than this one. So, yeah, so we're gonna see how my version of her, of her um, recipe Turns out together, y'all. <laughs> okay, so. There's all the flour. I mean, all the flour. All the chocolate mixed in with the eggs. And so, I'm trying to fold it in nicely. Okay, scraping down the sides. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is move over to the other side of the counter and put it in the uh, springform pan. So, see you in a bit. Okay, everybody, here's my springform pan. Um, the recipe calls for it to be buttered, um, the bottom and the sides to be buttered. So, I've already done that. And uh, it's all ready to go. I just bought this uh, springform pan. I had one. It looks like it's kind of off. Maybe it's just me. But anyway, I had one and it's like seeing better days. So I got another one. Well, anyway, so let's pour this in. I'm wondering if you could add something at this point, like, I don't know, nuts or something. I'm gonna have to try that, but I gotta see how this works. <laughs> The first time for me, and then we'll experiment later on. Okie doke. So, the batter's in the pan, and you're gonna pop this in the oven at 350, a preheated oven um, that's on 350 to 35 to 45 minutes, and until it says the top no longer 
shines and it does not jiggle <laughs> in the center. So here we go, y'all. We're going to put it in the oven. It's hold on. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to pop it in the oven. All right. I'm going to set the timer for, since it said between 35 and 45 minutes, I'm just going to set it for 40. And we'll wait and see. <laughs> okay, y'all, here's the finished cake out of the oven. It's still slightly warm, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to release the spring form. And, ooh, it released well. So... Here it is. Oh, it smells delicious. Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this cake plate that I made. Y'all remember when I did it? <laughs> my little Dollar Tree craft project. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is dust it with a little cocoa powder. I just happen to have some Nestle cocoa. So, I'm gonna dust a little bit on top. And what I'm gonna do is serve it with fresh raspberries. It's gonna be so delicious. And I kind of want that cocoa powder to fall on the plate, or the cake plate. And a little bit more. So I can kind of get on the sides. Okay. Okay. There we go. That looks good. Let me get the raspberries. And there we go, y'all. A nice chocolate flourless tort. So, that's going to do it, y'all. If you have any questions about this recipe, feel free to leave them below. If you want me to do any recipes, please leave that below as well. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And until my next video, I will see you then. Bye, y'all. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mwah.